Hi there, I am Ibn al-Haytham, but in the West I am called al Hazan. I have been called the father of modern optics, experimental physics and scientific methodology. My contributions have changed the way we understand vision, optics and light. I built the first pinhole camera or the camera obscura. Thanks to my discoveries, we now have photographic cameras. So next time you take a selfie, just remember me. My name is Abbas Ibn Firnas, the world's first pilot. My glider inspired many inventors, particularly the Wright brothers who built the first successful aeroplane. So the aeroplanes you know today may look different, but they are built on the research that was carried out by me for many, many years. Hi there, I'm Badil Jazari, a famous mechanical engineer. My work in mechanical engineering has been of utmost importance as I provided a wealth of instructions for the design, manufacture and assembly of machines. Amazing time telling yes. machine. Dozens of components clock, collected from different cultures around the world. Indian, Greek, Arabian, Egyptian, Chinese. Wow. A United Nations clock. Did someone call? Ah, my old friend, why don't you introduce yourself to my young guests? I am Abul Qasim al Zahrawi. Many call me the father of surgery. Did you actually do surgery back then? Of course we did. In fact, many of the surgical tools that I invented are still used in your modern hospitals. And physician. His skills and knowledge of surgery earned him the title of the greatest medieval surgeon of the Islamic world and Middle Ages. I am Al-Zahrawi, the father of surgery. I am famous for describing more than 200 surgical instruments and writing 30 volumes encyclopedia about surgery and medicine. I also pioneered the use of cat gut for internal stitches and my surgical and medical instruments are still used today. Once upon a time, there lived a remarkable woman called Maryam al ijliya This amazing woman has a very unusual story to tell. Unlike most other women in the 10th century, she took up trade and was famous for her skillful instrument making. Her father had been an apprentice in Baghdad to a famous maker of astrolabs, intricate devices for land navigation and time telling. She also became his pupil and learned everything that was needed to know about astrolabs. I am Mariam El Ajliya. I was a 10th century scholar who pioneered the development of astrolabes, a medieval device that was the GPS of its day. The Muslims used them to find the Qibla, prayer times, and determine starting days for Ramadan and Eid. Basically, an astrolabe is an old fashioned smartphone. Also known as Al Astrolabia, Miriam worked constructing astrolabes in Aleppo, northern Syria. She was employed by Saif al Dawla, the ruler who was in charge of the city. Al Ijlia is a rare documented case of a woman working in science in early Muslim civilization. Today, opportunities for women to work in science have widened considerably. And so, as we see great Muslim minds have walked this earth as scholars, scientists, doctors, philosophers, and engineers, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. 
So if you dare to imagine like those before us, you will become creators who bring dreams to life.